Shalawa, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Ka Hala, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Also, to the brothers and sisters that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shah in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. The book of Malachi, chapter 4, and verse 2. But unto you that fear my name, and we want to continue in the fear of the Lord, because those that continue in the fear of the Lord, a great reward shall come unto you. It says, But unto you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness and who is the son of righteousness yahweh shah arise with healing in his wings so yahweh shah at his appearance is going to arise with healing in his wings and those wings represents the chariots the vehicles of our salvation all right we being the hopeful elect all right the vehicles of the most high yahweh what the world deems as ufos this is a metaphor for what the world deems as UFOs, all right, his wings. And when Yahweh shall come upon those wings, he's going to bring forth healing. And that healing means us being changed from this terrestrial state, all right, into our celestial state, okay, into our glorified bodies, okay, into our incorruptible state, to get changed from this corruptible state. It says, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. All right, because we need changing. All right, because these bodies that we're in are full of infirmities. All right, but we have a spirit to sustain those infirmities. Proverbs 18 and verse 14, it says, The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmities. And we have the spirit of Yahweh Shah. All right, it says, But a wounded spirit who can bear. All right, two thirds of our people, they have a wounded spirit. They have the spirit of America, and America is wounded. That's why we can't bear them, okay? And we have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the spirit that has allowed us to maintain our infirmities, our sicknesses within these um, corruptible bodies that we're in, all right? Because that's the only reason we're uh, moving forward in these um, sick bodies that we're in, because we breathe chemtrails every day. We're not eating real food. We're not drinking real water. Uh, we are only moving because we have the spirit of Yahweh Shah. All right now, two thirds of our people, okay, they uh, are moving just to be preserved for the day of destruction. But we're moving just to be preserved for the day of what salvation. All right, because we are getting chastised in these bodies full of infirmities. All right, to what receive salvation, but two thirds are getting chastised in these bodies what to receive destruction. All right, because we are receiving the love from the Most High, being chastised in these bodies. Um, that's Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 5 it says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son. Despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourge of every son whom he received, just like the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 1 tells us, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we are receiving chastisement in these bodies, in these uh, corruptible bodies. Why? Because the Most High loveth whom, all right, the, uh, uh, he chastened, as the scripture says. All right, but chastening at the moment, as the scripture says, rather paraphrasing, is not... Um, um, good for anybody, all right? But the scripture also tells us to, um, what, take it with a, a cheerful smile, so to speak. That's the book of Sirach, chapter 2. And I'm going to start it. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So those that are sincerely serving Yahweh Yahweh Shah, all right, those that are sincerely serving Yahweh Yahweh Shah, Salakia, 
Temptation is going to come your way. Those fiery trials are going to come your way. It says, set down heart or right and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. All right. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away for thou may be of Christ and thou last end. Verse four. And this is the point. Whosoever, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. All right. Meaning, take that what the Most High is, is chastising you with. All right. Regardless, it could be a situation or within your body. All right, financial, all right, residential, all right, says take it cheerfully and be patient when thou change to a lower state, all right, meaning continue in the work, all right. Now, a lot of instances, that's easier said than done, but we having that spirit that sustains our infirmities, all right, those that uh, that are sincerely serving Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, all right, we will move forward, all right, because we're pressing towards um, a reward. Once again, Malachi chapter 4, verse 2, but unto you that fear my name, all right, because we don't want to be destroyed, number one, because we fear Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, all right, it says, but unto you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall, because we want Yahweh Shai to change us from this corruptible state into our incorruptible states. We want immortality, okay, to live forever, all right? Philippians 3, verse 20, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, yeah, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who shall change our vile bodies, see, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things under himself. All power has been given unto Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai is going to come with that healing in his wings unto those that fear the name Yahweh Yahweh Shai. See that? And that's what we're hasting, all right? We're hasting to be changed, okay? To be glorified like Yahweh Shai, to be like Yahweh Shai, which is to what? Put on our celestial bodies. Therefore, we can inherit the kingdom of heaven because the scripture speaks about flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because this flesh and blood is nothing good in it. It's filled of sickness and infirmities and it's subject to pain, 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 all right? It is subject to go off, all right? It is very flickle. That's why we need changing, all right? 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 43, and it reads, It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. All right, and that's these earthly bodies. All right, it was sown in dishonor, but it's going to be raised in glory, glorified like Yahweh Shai's body. It is sown in weakness, and this is the weakness. It's full of infirmities, but it's going to be raised in power, all right, by us giving you those everlasting bodies, all right? It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body, and that's the one that we're yearning, the spiritual body, all right, our everlasting bodies, okay, to reign with our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right? And how are we going to do that? Continue to abide in the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, Second uh, Corinthians chapter five and verse one it says, "For we know that if our earthly house is of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of the Most High, and house not made with hands, eternal." In the heavens. See that? So it says, For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. All right? So that's the mindset of the hopefully elect. Hasten the day that we're for us to receive that healing in the wings. All right? So, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Call Halal, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Raka, Quidash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect. DTA Wa Abba
blah, blah, blah. 